How about mm-hmm. food tourism? Because uh, Berna Puyat is big on food tourism, although merong controversy over the food, the food gathering that uh, was sponsored before, no? And you know, Cebu has fantastic food and famous for a lot of, you know, karkar, lechon. Uh, are, do you have any particular plans for that? Are you planning to promote, siguro Ilocos Magnet, for example, or, or, or stuff like that? Thank you for that question. As I mentioned earlier, our country is blessed not only with tourist sites, but also with the talent of our people and uh, just the amazing quality of our products. And that includes our food. Uh, definitely, food tourism is uh, something that should be given priority and much attention uh, so that the uh, experience of tourists when they come to the Philippines uh, is multi-sensory uh, that can satisfy not only their eyes, but also their stomachs, their senses. Um, and that can only come if you're also able to provide uh food that's uh, very distinct to the region that you're visiting. Uh, I'd also like to emphasize the importance of of, uh, not just focusing on foreign tourism, but also domestic tourism. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Mm -hmm. here in Sydney, what really helped our uh, local uh, resorts and hotels was uh, our own population um, availing of uh, their uh, services when things started open up. So I think it's also very, very important to look at uh, the potential of uh, the domestic market being able to uh, sustain the tourism in uh, provinces, uh, cities, and municipalities because uh, uh, we've seen as well uh, the improvement in the economic status of uh, local tourists that they can now afford to go around either in their own province or uh, in other places in the Philippines. So the approach cannot singularly be to focus on foreign tourists, but also to further develop uh, domestic tourism. Ma'am, beyond the recovery and rehabilitation of specific places, I think you made a very good point, Kanina. No? Before we advertise that we'll take care of other people, we have to take care of ourselves first. I mean, we are our best advertisement. But that applies as well to, to the entire nation, right? We, we advertise, come here, but then every year, people see that we struggle through every disaster, every, cal- every calamity, floods, typhoons. What else can we do to also make the entire industry um, uh, and every province uh, resilient, um, not just for the sake of tourism, but also for the sake of really making tourism sustainable and something that, you know, uh, brand-wise people see that we are a, not only a, a beautiful nation, but a strong and resilient nation as well. I don't pretend to have the expertise of knowledge on how to make the entire country resilient, but I can only speak to the experience that I've had as a mayor of Liloan up until this point. Notwithstanding the pandemic, uh, Liloan was... uh, awarded by the Department of Trade and Industry as the most competitive municipality in resilience or the most resilient municipality in the Philippines from uh, for two years. And uh, what we did in Liloan is really to make sure that we are able to study the pillars of livability to first ensure that uh, we heavily invest in public infrastructure so that there is uh, ease of travel and uh, there is uh, an assurance towards our people that uh, they will be able to get from point A to point B with ease. Second, to make sure that we provide social protections for our people to give uh, livelihood and financial assistance when needed, medical assistance when necessary and to always ensure that the hand of government is there to help them when they are in need. Third, to make sure that uh, the business and the economic climate is always open to investors and to the continuation of those that have already invested. And that can only be there and that can only 
uh, continue to thrive if you have a very strong peace and order situation and uh, if you are able to establish uh, integrity in local governance. So we've uh, tried to make sure that uh, our peace and order situation in Liloan is uh, always one of our top priorities. And in fact, uh, Liloan was awarded the number one police station in the province of Cebu this quarter. Um, and as far as the business friendliness is concerned, no, uh, it's also very important to establish to both business owners and potential investors that uh, their money is safe uh, where they invest. And that's why uh, it's uh, really quite uh, an honor for us to receive again this year for the fourth time from the Commission on Audit the uh, unqualified or unmodified opinion uh, attesting to the accountability and transparency of government transactions. So uh, I believe that uh, in studying these pillars of livability, it is possible to build resilience, not only in the local government unit, but also in the population. All in all, uh, ensuring that uh, when crisis comes, government is there to help uh, the population stand and to help the population uh, survive the difficulties of our time. And I really hope to be able to bring uh, the local government experience that I've had to the Department of Tourism and, and uh, to fully support the administration of President-elect Marcos, who views tourism as a major pillar for the revitalization of our economy.